<laughs> Beautiful overhand left tonight. You must be really happy with that performance. Oh, yeah. Um, anytime you can get out in the first uh, round with the win is a great day. How are you going to celebrate your win? Oh, I'll go out and with my friends and see the sweetest nightlife a little bit and maybe have a couple of brewskis. And, and then uh, my f I got to leave at 10 a.m. in the morning, so... That's no fun. You're a teacher, right? Yeah, I got to go back to work you, on Monday. Oh, wow. Well. Work on Monday. So. Any, um, any kind of messages from any of your pupils? Hopefully they're good for the sub, otherwise you're going to be doing book work all week. <laughs> <laughs> so Sultan Ali went for a spin back kick. It just kind of grazed you, and then you got your, your uh, overhand left. Would you say that's a perfect counter? Uh, I think a perfect counter was him actually missing me and me hitting him, but I mean, I tried to get out of the way as much as I could, and I could kind of, he was turning and turning and turning, so he, he kind of gave it away that he was going to do some type of spin. And when, when he uh, went down, you hit him with a second one, what was going through your mind when you saw that his eyes were rolling to the back of the skull? I, you know, that's one of those difficult things as a fighter, you want to be a human being and not smash your face in the ground, but at the same time, you want to smash your face in the ground in case they hit the ground and they pop up and keep fighting. So I just always go and try to finish it off and make sure the ref drags me off of him. We've had a few contenders for performance of the night bonuses already. You're going to stick around to see what competition could come next? Oh, I'm sure they'll, they'll pick the best no matter what. I'm going to watch all the fights. I really want to see the main event. So the beginning of the fight, it, seemed, it started off a bit more apprehensive. Was there a sort of a, a feeling out process that you were going through? Yeah, I was, usually I'm a little bit more aggressive from the get-go. I was just super relaxed. I mean, I, I'm, I was almost too relaxed for this fight. I just was just real loose, real ready to go. I was real calm, walked in, knew what I needed to do. And, you know, he hit me a couple times and it didn't hurt. And I was like, well, I need to, need to he, he's scoring points, go, go, go. So then... Uh, after the takedown one, I, you know, I, I couldn't get him back down. I mean, I, I probably could have if I would have struggled my ass off and, you know, used a lot of my energy, but I uh, decided to go and stand with him a little bit. Going back to work on Monday, how soon are you going to, before you go back into training, and how quickly would you like another opportunity to step into the cage? Uh, I'll start running again next week and do a couple light pad work, you know, just four rounds of five-minute pad work next week. Um, uh, I would like to fight the next month or next two months, somewhere, somewhere in there, because I'm I'm, I feel great. Is there any moment that you thought that maybe uh, having only MMA as your as your full time job would be better for you? I have thought that, but really, it's easier for me to to teach and then train, train, teach, train, because otherwise, I'm not walking around that refrigerator so much, and I'm not <laughs> you know laying down and walking past the bar and everything, you know. So it's very easy for me to. To train, it's not always great on my family life and everything else. And did this crazy European hour somehow help you to, to adapt to uh, for your fight? Uh, I just stayed up every night until about 3 this time. Um, I don't know what time it is now, but I just made sure I stayed up and I was awake. And then I napped, napped for like 3 hours from like 3 to 6 a day. So I was, I was prepared for it. So you're putting... I mean, come, you know... You got, you, in the green, you, got, you expect to wait in the 10 minutes, but suddenly there's a, a five second fight, and like, yeah. you go out now. How was the nerves walking out, seeing that crowd? Because there was a lot of first in there. Uh, like I said, I was almost too relaxed. I mean, you can ask my cornerman, I was just like totally calm. So, uh, you know, the same thing happened. You know, I was, I've had thousands of wrestling matches. The same things happen in tournaments. You have th three people in front of you, and then they all get pinned. So, I mean, uh, I was ready to go. It was good to go. For someone, with, sorry, for someone with a wrestling background, is it more satisfying to win by knockout and in such emphatic fashion? No, a W is a W to me. Yeah. So you're on a real tear right now. You've come up with, obviously this is a great performance. Do you feel like you, sort of, you've reached the next level, that you deserve a high, higher caliber of a, opponent? And if so, who? Uh, I don't know who, but definitely. I mean, uh, I'm always looking to fight the best people they'll give me, so um, we'll see what they give me. Some people might question a full-time job and training MMA and fighting on the biggest organization on the planet. Is there going to come a point as the competition steps up and as you climb up the rankings that it's, an, it's going to be a necessity to leave teaching? Uh, maybe, but we'll just see. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Yeah, that would be a good problem to have. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.